Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. We need her junior discretion is advised. What is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. We're here with Fabio right here. Que onda, pai? Muchas gracias por invitarme. I just, I just found out that I'm the first guest in nah, person. first guest in person, person. For real, in person. The other ones where you guys know it's virtual, but so we got Fabio. Que los dos son lo mismo? It's the same thing, yeah, same thing. What is this, bro? It's like uh, carne asada with some potato on oh time. Oh my dude. god, fire, bro. Dude. Check it out, check it no, out. No, bro, out, I did not expect out. this, bro. Check it oh, out, check it out. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> bro. It's fire, I'm telling you. Hey, so you, where are we at right now? You're recording the video or what? I was making a song with Elena Castillo. I, I was making a song with her and, you know, vibing. Okay. Fucking. Shared a moment, how to we had a walk, you know, we like listened to the song, bro. We had okay. a good day, bro. So what is it like reggaeton or what is it? Oh it's a it's a club song. It's like a like a like like, like, uh, like, like UK type shit. Okay, okay, okay. So hard bro. Like the producers from the UK. Uh -huh. So like he knows it. Like he knows how bro, to do it. Damn. Yeah, bro. We're just hey, so hey, now that you brought that up, what what is it that got you into like music? Cause I dude, honestly, like I, I see like honestly back then. You see YouTubers that get into music, and there's some, there's some, there's some that blow up, and there's other people that don't. The flop. But I think, I think you do and do. Honestly, I listen to your song, dude. That shit. We're gonna listen to it. Like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna to review it. Right it. We're gonna review it. I bet. Right, right. I'm so down. But dude, that shit. I, I liked it. I'm for real, for real. Like, dude, I liked it. But what got you into it though? Like, what's like, bro? Honestly, what's your inspiration? So, uh, I always listen to rap growing up. Okay. Uh, but not the conventional type of rap, like none of Tupac, none of that shit. I was listening to like video game raps like you know like a kid like you know like call yeah. of duty rap minecraft rap on youtube and then like, yeah, i i fucking sure. i started like rapping this shit i just felt good and then i grew up and then i found this one artist called my cancerbero de venezuela rest in peace uh -huh. and then i just heard his music bro and it like completely like, fucked me over i'm like bro i want to do that damn and then i started listening to more music i started like i stopped hating on genres that were like hated on like trap mm. corridos and I just started like educating my ear. I'm like, damn, bro, like, what the fuck? I feel it. And I just started making music, bro. And then I found out that I could sing not that long ago. Yeah. Like a year ago, probably. I was like, let me try. And then I started fucking singing. I was like, oh, I'm pretty good. But what <laughs> got you What got you into like YouTube? Before, into YouTube? Be, before you started the, the music shit. Okay, so look, so I was doing music before YouTube. Okay. And who got me on YouTube was Pow. My ex, cause mm -hmm. she was a YouTuber, like she was a full time YouTuber, like yeah. she was already like going crazy, like she used to do public interviews, mm -hmm. and then uh, I appeared in one of her videos that I was uh, going to prom with my crush, and then people were like, "Yo, like who is this guy? Like I, we love him." Yeah, and then yeah. she told me, "Let's make a, a couples channel." Like this is obviously like after we started dating. I feel like that's what makes bait though, like couples channel. Couples channel. I feel yeah, like, dude, if you, if you can lock in with someone, it's like, <laughs> dude, you you can make some money, bro. And it's fun too, like you know, like it's like, couple content is forever the best, you yeah, know, because it's I like, you, and then like as a consumer, you just see like two people that love each other, just having fun, yeah, and, like doing like dumb shit, like pranking each other, like going and doing mukbangs and story times. It's the best. I re I had a really good time, bro. Like. My YouTube days were lit. Bro. Yes, bro. I want to get back into it. I'm not going to lie. I, I seen that you were like kind of like like on and off, no? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. With YouTube, bro, like I tried to to do YouTube by myself. I, no one knows this, bro. Like I vlogged for like a couple of days, but yeah. I just didn't feel like I was in my niche, bro. Like if I pick up the phone to record a video, it has to be for a TikTok or yeah. like a story, but not a full on YouTube video vlog, you know, like it takes too long to edit. I don't know how to edit at all. Bro, I do not. Who's the one that did the editing? Was it Pau? Pau, bro. <laughs> Pau, bro. <laughs> Pau, bro. Shout out, Pau, bro. Pau se aventa ocho horas, bro, bro editando, damn. bro. Yeah, That's but, crazy. And I would just get the video ready, bro. Shout out to Pau, bro. Like, Pau was fucking editing damn. the fuck out of these videos, bro. That's crazy. I can never. Bro, it can hey, never. hey, speaking of Pau, look. Dímelo. Remember, he called me straight boy? Uh, dude, I don't even know, but you said, I, you said I think he's gay. If I'm gonna come straight boy, <laughs> I'm gonna talk about Peka. We're gonna talk about Peka right now. Hella cheese, man, huh? Nah, for a hella cheese, man, but. But when I was watching the videos, you were, you were, let's talk about this. You were kind of like, uh, it maybe insulting her, but but like I said, it maybe because we we're younger back then. So. Okay, you want to explain what happened? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Like, for real, this is old and it's, it's not going to, like, I don't want it to spark up more drama. It's just like, <laughs> it, it, 
it, it's just old and it's just no, we're yeah, clarifying yeah, yeah. we're clarifying all right bro it. as an easter egg right like y'all deserve to know if y'all were part of it back in OGs, the day OGs. if you're ogs you deserve to know so what's happening in young fabio's mind fabio just started social media less than a year ago and suddenly he has a blow up and he has a lot of people and a lot of numbers and fabio's references to, to social media to public figure are straight up rappers straight up like motherfuckers that are not influencers right so in my head i'm arguing with this girl on live and i'm thinking i'm about to say some funny shit because she's gonna tell me something funny back you know what i mean <laughs> yeah, I like I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna tell you like you have a stink pussy and you're gonna be like and hey, you have a shrimp dick like <laughs> yeah I feel that, that. that's what my head thinks right i'm thinking that we're just gonna have like a fucking meme battle right now all right a piece of shit bro because i was getting like bro i'm telling you like young fabio is new to this mm -hmm. like he didn't even look up to no influencers like i didn't know no influencers bro, yeah, like yeah. at all like i'm and i just become one uh -huh. i go into their world like not knowing shit no i feel that and I then that. i don't know like i have all these people suddenly bro blowing up my phone on my dms like oh when i see you i'm gonna kill you when i see I you like it. you better you better watch out a bunch of messages of girls bro i was like damn bro i'm never gonna get no play with no girls anymore <laughs> like all women it. hate me like it turned into a catastrophe bro and like i told my my dad i'm like dad i'm scared like what the fuck and i'm young bro yeah i'm scared like right what if they pull up to the house and, and he, my dad started like tripping he started like no you have to quit you can't be doing this anymore and then th then that's when i had to decide like do i really want to keep doing this mm -hmm. like that's how unbalancing that moment was bro like that i feel like that like really hit your like i feel like you guys were doing really good and then that, that was like the turning yeah. point yeah bro where it was like where it was like bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you know you know how it felt. Me and Power, bro. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're doing doing no. Bro, we were, we weren't going guys, like look. this. We weren't going like this. We we're going like literally like this. Let me tell. You, let me tell. You, hold on. I feel like it's like novelas. Like right right now, Shadi Bay, Shadi Man, Wilito are like right here. And I feel like you guys, bro. I feel like you guys during your year, bro. You guys were like, dude. You guys were on top of until until that drama happened, bro. That's when I, it's like, I agree. that's when, dude, that's when I feel like I you agree. guys, you guys turn and, and yeah. Bro, I agree because I felt it. Like, I know that me and Pau weren't having a normal, like, come up. Like, I yeah. know that we were like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then the beef happened, bro. And then suddenly, like, everything froze because we, that was like a really big stain in the moment. Yeah. And then the way that, that Pekka portrayed everything just made us look like shit. But dude, what's crazy is like, and respectfully, look, I will pay cut everything. Everything goes well with her. Everything she gets yeah. the help she needs. Bro, I literally wish nothing but the best to pay cut. Like, I feel like in that moment also, like, the whole TikTok scene was really revolved around a uh, an ex spectator that's very young. Yeah. So it's very manipulable, <laughs> you know, like very like yeah. gullible. So whatever you tell a kid, bro, they're a sponge. Like they absorb everything you tell them, yeah. and then they put it out. It's true. It becomes true. And more if it's this pretty ass girl on the internet. Yeah. And more if you're a girl that wants to look that pretty, and then she says Fabio is a piece of shit, then then they believe that. That's what I'm saying. Like a lot of people, they like they need to do their research before you guys start like judging. And, and just in general, but let me look at my notepad right here. Cause I got a whole ass whole notepad. I'm telling you, I got a whole. Hell, jeez, man. Huh? <laughs> okay, okay. So we got a good one right here. Wilito, what do you think about the whole situation with Wilito talking to your girl? Because I know I know this is gonna get brought up, dude. And, and look, let me tell you. I know if you if you genuinely maybe weren't hurt, you wouldn't have done that song. So so what's what's going on with that song? Was it more for like you like that's how you felt? Like what's going on? Give look, me an explanation. Look, bro, skis, skis, look, bro, skis, 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 skis. That song, I've had it. I've had that song made for a minute, and then I see everything happening on, on the phone on the moment, right? Yeah, like, yeah. And I start tweaking, right? Like I'm thinking that. I'm good. Like I'm thinking that like I already passed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like I, I had already like I had already like picture scenarios where where so I saw Pau with someone else, right? Because bro, they say that there's five stages of fucking breaking up. I feel and, like, like it doesn't hurt you until you see you with your exactly, girl with another guy. Exactly. But like I had already like pictured like uh -huh. oh I'm gonna see her. I'm gonna see her. It's gonna be fine. Like I'm completely yeah. over it. And then that happens, bro. And then like it, like I go in like in the fucking like you know like I see it what? and like I get me pongo wild. I'm like. Not what the it. fuck <laughs> you know what i'm saying and then then they told me that it's friendship right whatever but bro friendship que el audio dice ya no sé si somos amigos o novios <laughs> bro what the fuck do you want me to think bro you know what i'm saying yeah i'm but in then, my but right then, hold on hold on Dale. but then people start to say didn't you break up with her no you she broke up with you we broke up mutually we sat down we said hasta aquí and she's like i agree and i'm like i agree Damn. But, mm -hmm. what was, but what was like the main, like if, 
because I feel like at this point, hearing your story and everything, it feels like you kind of still have some, like maybe some, a little bit of feelings for me. I always will. Because you, you did a song, you did a song. So, so to me, it feels like, or anybody in the audience, it feels like you still have some feelings. So to me, it's like, like, what, like, why'd you do all this, you know? Because I see her, it triggers my emotions of what I am like terrified of, uh -huh. like what I never expected. And then I have a lot of songs, bro, that I made in really, low like moments like you know what i'm yeah. saying like a lot bro and i was one night smoking up like getting out of my thoughts you know what i'm saying yeah and i play this song bro and i start like tweaking i'm like wow bro and then there's you this, really feel for her yeah i wow like que dolor nuestra aspiración I feel expiró that. i feel it nuestra aspiración or ask our, our, our aspiration expired it's a really sad song bro i really made it in a really like feeling moment and then, tenía un pedacito que le faltaba a la canción. For real? Y sabes que se me ocurrió? Wakame <laughs> la quito el paname traición. Hey, we gotta, we gotta hear that shit. We gotta hear it. Look, oh, let's play, play. Oh, let's play, let's play, let's play. Wakame la quito. I liked it, dude. Like, I, I liked it, bro. Straight up, bro. Because I feel like it's like you're talking straight out of emotion. Sí, bro. From it. Like, me la quito, like, me traicionó, bro. Me traicionó, bro. ¿Qué quieres que diga, bro? Pero, ¿cómo que te traicionó? Me traicionó, amigo. Yo pensaba que era mi amigo, bro. Yo pensaba que era mi amigo. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me talk about that. Now, now that we got to that. <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> no, 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 I remember. So, a lot of people were... I, I, actually, I saw a TikTok that blew up today that it was like um, one of your friends um, said that Wilito and you guys were like all friends. Sí, bro. Like, Wilito y yo íbamos para ser panas, ¿me entiendes? Uh -huh. Like, bro, I literally, bro, I literally have DMs of Wilito, bro, saying, like, reacting to my stories, like, Laughing at my shit, telling me that let's link up. He told me that he moved to LA, so yeah. let's kick it. I'm like, yo, bro, let's do it, bro. Le mando una idea. I was like, bro, you should make a challenge of people doing your walk cafe. You go viral. Yeah. And he texts me. He's like, he's like, we'll make hella money. Like, we'll get rich as fuck. And I'm like, you're already rich in heart, bro. What the fuck do I look like telling a guy you're yeah, rich in heart? And then yeah. he pops out and does this bullshit. Me traicionó, bro. Me traicionó. Yeah. Me, me miré como un pendejo. Me sentí bien pendejo, bro. Porque puta, let's it, imagine I tell you, bro, yeah, you're very rich in well, heart. You do good. Yeah, you're, you're very rich in heart. And then you go out and go out with my ex, bro. Nah, bro, me traicionó, me traicionó, ¿me entiendes? Yeah. Igual, no rencor, like, nothing, bro. Like, you know, everyone lives their life however they want to live it. He's doing great. He's killing it, bro. Like, he brings a lot of joy to a lot of people. He makes a lot of people laugh. He makes a lot of people happy. So that makes me happy. A mí me falló. He made me unhappy. But... Eso es aparte, ¿me entendí? Yo hice mi canción, yeah. dije lo que quería decir, sentí lo que quería sentir, ahora me estoy comiendo una carne asada. Uh, unas papitas, carne asada. Hey, but, hey, like, yeah. my question is, has he hit you up since, since then or no? Nada. Not at all, bro. Not at all. Lo miré. I saw him at the, the Spider-Man premiere. But he's much, oh, you did? Oh, I saw him at the Spider-Man premiere. I walked out. Lo volteé a ver. And then se puso en su cel, so I'm like, oh, he don't want to talk, so. Ahí supe que estaba todo. Yeah, como que. Medio raro ahí, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so. Está bien, bro. Está bien, Willito. Shout out, Willito. Well, that, that time you saw him was in that in that, that event, in the Spider-Man event. Did you see her with, with, with Pau or no? I didn't see him with Pau. No. I just. Because I think she did like a vlog, like. Yeah, they, they were there. Now I'm medio juntos, pero. No, no sé, no sé. <laughs> no sé, no le pongo atención a esas cosas porque me estresa, bro. Damn, for real. Yo voy a la casa. So, so would you say it didn't affect you until like, que mero mero you saw, like, that yeah, she was like with someone else? I'm, I'm telling you, bro, I already had picture of the scenario of like seeing her. So like I was already ready. But then like when it happens, it happens. Yeah. But the fact that I already had premeditated it made it smoother. So, me duró un ratito, ¿me entiendes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Que estoy ahora me siento mejor. Igual cuando escucho la canción me, me pega otra vez, ¿me entiendes? Porque I make songs feeling them. So yeah. whenever I hear everything, everything comes back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why now that I'm going to the studio, I'm making happy songs, bro. I'm making like... No, no, so what's your next song coming out? What's your next song? We'll see, bro. Uh, I don't shit. know yet. <laughs> we don't know yet. Hey, often you go, you live in Argentina, no? No, no, Honduras. In Argentina. Uh, no, fui, sí, sí, fui, Argent fui Argentina. Okay. Pero soy de Honduras. La gente piensa que soy de Argentina, pero no soy de Argentina. <laughs> Me encantaría haber nacido en el sur argentino, pero 504 represent, tú sabes. Hey, how do you like it out there? I love it, bro. Argentina was insane, bro. Yeah. I, I was there for a whole month. Damn. Yeah, bro, insane, bro, insanity. Y mi país, ¿qué puedo decir? Mi país es hermoso. Está muy peligroso ahorita, pero mi país es hermoso. Tiene demasiadas cosas, bro. Damn, I feel that. Tienes hey, que ir, bro. Tienes hey, que hey, ir. Hey, do, people, do people call you Peso Pluma because of your haircut? Bro, I've gotten confused twice. 
Pearl with Peso Bluma, bro. Damn. I was at a at a Los De Limit concert, uh -huh. and then literally like uh, at the backstage, some guy came up to me. He's like, "Hey, oh, pensé que eras Peso Pluma." Hey, how often do you get your hair dyed, though? Oh, bro, not really often. I, I saw you had purple, and then you went to blonde or blue. bro. This is literally out of the purple, like. Like the the purple turned into this. Oh shit! Okay. But I'm about to go get it touched up tomorrow, bro. Yeah, I'm trying to go back to silver, bros. So yeah, bro. that's all the questions for today, guys. We we're here with Fabio. We answered everything for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to smack the like. Remember, at 200,000 subscribers, we're doing $2,000 of a giveaway. So make sure you guys stay in tune for that. And follow my social medias. Follow Fabio. Check out his music. Hey, make sure to fucking support this video because this guy comes from Riverside. <laughs> and right. I don't live in Riverside. I live in LA. That's so how right. long do you drive, bro? It was like a two-hour drive. So he is on the grind of driving two hours just to get this behind the screen <laughs> right now. Like you watching this, bro. Be That's grateful. Make sure to smack the like, subscribe, and I really appreciate you guys. Al toque, nos vemos. <laughs>